We'll see a detective work at getting a confession from a passion killer. His mistress notified him she was HIV positive, and she was very cold in her delivery. In return, he murdered her. Today, Mary, we got a call at her house, mm -hmm. and she was found deceased in her apartment. And right now, we don't know much about what's going on other than she had a, a couple of boyfriends, and we're trying to talk to everybody that she she knew, trying to get information about what's going on. And I'm sorry to tell you this way, that's why I don't tell people over the phone about what, about a death. You understand where I come from on that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm sitting in here. Oh my God. Oh, I'm sitting in here as what? You're sitting in here as nothing right now, other than somebody oh, I wanted to talk man, to. come on. Man. You have to understand, Larry, that we talk to everybody who, I've had these man, rooms listen. full all night. We gotta roll people out. Man, listen. So man. we don't waste our time with people. Oh, man. And so we can get on the right track of our investigation. Listen, man, I, I was fucking around, and that's the truth. You know, I... I what do you call her? What, what name do you call her? Um, I know her as uh, Cecily or Candy. Okay. That's all I know. That's what she... I don't know if that's her And you met her on a chat line? Yeah, that's... I don't even know if that's Has it been a while? Name. Has it been... Oh, man, it's a couple of weeks. And what chat line did you meet her on? It's a few. It's it's several of them. I, I don't know which one I was on, man. Hey, I. <sighs> well, just tell me what happened today. That way. Man, I went over there and I fucked. And what time was that? And I got missing. That was early this morning. You know, as far as like hours, I know I walked in my job. Um, got on the clock like seven thirty. Walked in the office. My supervisor's name is Ray. She said, "Hey." You know, you've been on the phone too much, blue, 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 you know, uh, you terminated. I'm like, God damn, you know. So I called her, like, look, you know, I'm, shit, I want to come through. I want some pussy. Straight up. Right. You know, I want, you know, what's up? She's like, come on. And I went over there, I fucked, and I got Now, pussy. is it is a relationship, or is it a... No, 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 I'm married, dude. But I'm not, I'm not talking about that. Do you have to pay for it? No. Okay, that's no, what I, I mean. Did. I, like you know, we would smoke. A, you know, I buy a, a bag of a weed or something. You know, we would cook. And it was, but it's not like a prostitution deal. No, no. So I mean, I, I hope she wasn't a prostitute. No, I'm just. I, I don't know. Your you said you don't have a relationship, but no, fuck no. I'm just. I don't know. A lot of people meet prostitutes on chat lines, right? Yeah, I mean, it's on there. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking. I'm just clarifying that you're not paying her for sex. No, you're just no. We was. I mean, just kind of she get the sounded like you know she wanted to get serious, and you know I was kind of like shit. I mean, I was liking the pussy was good, you know. But damn, oh my god! So y'all been having sex for two weeks, three weeks? What? We had sex like three times, like three. Okay. And y'all never gotten into any kind of arguments or fights or? No, I mean, shit, that argument and fight for what? I mean, she, I'm not her dude, she ain't my How chick. did you get over to her house today? I drove. You drove your Ford, what yeah, is that, uh, Focus? Uh, Focus, yeah. Was that blue or silver or what color was it? And you're pretty sure about the time that you were over there? Larry, you can understand where we, why we want to talk to you, right? I do, but damn, man, I was just fucking around. Oh my god, oh my god. And I'm sitting in here talking to you about, she was killed? Well, she was found dead in her apartment. And we're, we're working out, oh my god. you know, we're treating it as a, uh, as a murder right now. Oh fucking god. When you, what were you wearing when you went over there today? Um, a t-shirt, some jean pants, and oh shoot, I got some shoes. I, I think I had on my Nikes. I had on my Nikes earlier. White, gray, and blue. Okay. 
and all, and all that's still at your house. Yep. Okay. Yeah. When you were there, did she take any phone calls? Did you uh, hear anybody come to her door? Nobody came to the door. Damn. Yeah. Fuck, man. Oh, bro. And you don't have. Oh. Nobody did you any harm. Yeah. Y'all no. Didn't, y'all didn't get into a physical fight. What happened right here under your eye? Oh, it's my birth mom. Okay. For all this. Yeah. I mean, like I said, man, we fucked. You know. What happened after y'all did that? Shit, I, I'm gonna see you later. That's all there was to it. Peace. Yes. And, I'm gonna see you later. You know. And she recently told you about any health problems that she might have. Oh no. So you have no idea about anything with her or um, did y'all wear condoms when y'all have sex or what do y'all do? No. I mean, no. It's straight up fucking. So she never told you that she had HIV or anything like that? You serious? Did y'all ever have that discussion? I wouldn't be asking if I, I'm not a joking type guy. Oh, man. Did she ever discuss that with you? She, um... Because I had been told that she had had a discussion with you about that. She kind of joked about it, and that was that, you know. What did she, she say? She said, she had said, she had asked me a question one day. One of them days I'm, you know, on my job, on the phone, talking to her. And she was talking about she was watching um, some fucking Maury or, you know, one of them shows like that. And she was like, um, a girl told a guy on the show, um, They've been together for so long and shit, you know, um, that she had HIV. And I thought that was so funny. I'm just here. I'm like, man, that's not funny. That ain't some shit, you know, that you fucking, that's not funny. And and I'm like, you know, you know, where you going with this? And she was like, you know, nothing. You know, I, I just wanted to know, you know, how, how would you feel about it? I was like, man, shit, that's not cool. You know, I would... I don't even know. You know what I mean? Damn. Like how you how you just tell somebody that? Um, but this was a joking conversation you were kind of having with her? Yeah, I mean... It, it, did she, you make a comment about what you'd do to somebody if they did that to you? No, nah, I mean, she asked me and I told her I don't know. You know, it depends on where I'm at with them. You know, as far as, you know, fucking emotions or whatever. Right. So you had sex, you... Left. That's all there was to it. Man, we fucked, and I had to get gone. You know. What time do you think you left? I don't know. About eleven, ten, eleven, something like that. How, how many hours do you think you were over there? One. <laughs> Shit. I went over there, and you know, like I said, man, I went over there and got my fuck on and got gone. You know, you remember what she was wearing when you were over there? Um, some panties. But when I walked in, you know, there wasn't no lights on. Was she already waiting for you? Was she, I mean, was she yeah, ready, she ready was to ready. go? She was ready. You know, there wasn't no lights on, you know what I mean? Did you tell her you were coming over? Yeah. So it wasn't a surprise visit? No, hell no. You were coming over? And no, I don't pop up on people, man. When you went there, how'd you go in? Um, I knocked on the door and she opened it. Were you out there for any length of time, or was it a pretty quick? What do you mean, outside out? When, when you knocked, I mean, did you have to wait for a while, or did she no, come she, right away? she or? was ready. She was there, you know, knocked on the door. So when I did that, it was open. Right. No kids or anything there? No, it was just her. You ever met her kids? Um, I seen them once. No, I seen them twice. Twice, two times I seen them kids. But shit, they was, you know, we hours of the night, they ready to go to bed, you know what I mean? Why don't you come over and give me some of that? And, All right, come on, you know? <laughs> so, so you called her before you showed up, so it's not like you were... You no, I don't. No, I don't do that pop up shit. You know, I mean, I don't play that shit. Don't. So did you call her and say, "Hey, I'm here. Come open your door." Or... No, I knock, knock, knock. Open the door, and again, you know, she opened. 
after you talked to her on the phone and told her you're coming, how long do you think it took you to get there? GPS from my job to the house was about 35 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay, and where'd you go after you left? I went back to my house. And then where? I mean, did you just hang out at your house all day or what? No, I went back to my house, man. That's, that's about it. Did you go anywhere else during the day? Pick your I, wife up from work? I or? picked her up, that's all. I went to my house, you know, she told me to be there at 4 o'clock. She said, oh, thank God. Did you eat lunch at your house or did you eat, where'd you eat lunch? No, me and her, um, when I got us some Chipotle. You and? Me and my wife. Oh, not, not Cecily? No, me and my wife got us some Chipotle, you know, when I um, picked up. So you never got mad at her for telling you that she had HIV or anything like that? Again, she didn't tell me. I mean, it was like I said, man, it was like a, some hypothetical shit. Right. You know what I mean? Like, but I can understand where if that was the case, that somebody could get pretty upset with it. Somebody probably would get mad, you know what I mean? But shit, I, man, I got shit to lose, man. You know what I mean? What do you have to lose? My wife and my, my family. You know, well, I mean, you were jeopardizing that right off the. I was, I was, but damn. Especially with you know somebody that could have a disease that's uh, life threatening. So you got a lot to lose in that aspect. Man, well, and if she told you this, and you know, you start thinking about your family, and you know, you're giving giving it to your wife, and. You got two young kids, I can see where somebody can get mad. I can see it too. <laughs> God damn it, man. But, but Larry, if, if something happened when you were over there, I mean, you were at her house. She was found dead in her house. I mean, dead, dog. I mean, it puts you in a bad spot. It does. It sounds like it does, you know. But, um. But, you know, if, if you had, if anything happened, and you know maybe you confronted her about about what she told you and she came at you and you were there when something happened don't let me find out through other means through physical evidence through <coughs> through shit that we're going to find in the house yeah, i mean yeah. if you, if you if anything happened when you were there it's better to get it out now and tell Man. me what happened because it might be understandable of what happened if shit she came like at that. you or you know i don't know I wasn't there. Shit like that. How could you understand, you know, somebody dead? That's no, man, the only thing that happened between me and Cecily, if that's her name, you know what I mean? That's her name. We fucked. We fucked. So there's nothing going to be found in that apartment that's going to link you to her death. Nothing I can think of other than we fucked. Did you ejaculate in her? Hell yeah, I mean, shit, why not? So when they're doing her autopsy, they're going to find your, your sperm in there, right? And, and what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. It means y'all had sex. Exactly. So I'm saying, what does that mean? Cause my it doesn't mean nothing. Exactly. So I'm, but I'm just trying to find with? out from you if you had anything to do with this. Man, again, me and Cecily fucked. I was fucking around on my wife with this mother. Ugh, man, she so when you me. left, she was. where was she when you walked out the door? Still in her bed. You know what I mean? Was she I, naked? I don't know. I, she might have put her clothes back on. I'm not sure. I, hey, it was time to go. You know. Did you leave in a hurry? In a hurry? In a hurry. I don't know. What's a hurry? No, hey, it's, I'm about to leave. I'm going to call you later. You know, and I'm gone. Just be lying into your car and, and getting out. Uh, be lying. I walked in my car and left. Are you sure about the times? It was, like I said, man, it was after 7.30 and somewhere around 9, 10, man. What Chipotle did you go to? It's on MacArthur. Right off of MacArthur and Roy. And what time was that? After I picked my wife up. I don't know what time was that. After lunch or after dinner? Or was it a dinner or? I picked up at four o'clock on the dot. So y'all had Chipotle at, at four-ish. 
So you yeah. left you left her house, you went straight home. Straight home, chilled out to my wife, told me to come get me. And trying to think of a way to tell her, you know, you know, fucking got fired. Which you haven't done yet. How'd you feel about getting fired? Were you pretty pissed about it? Not pissed. You know, I mean, I, I thought it was some bullshit, but it is what it is. I mean, that's... Had you been there for, for a while? No. I started working at May. In May? And that's just your mover? You move furniture, houses, or what? Fucking furniture, you know. If you got a seven-bedroom house, we coming. It don't matter. If you got 30,000 pounds of furniture, it don't matter. We coming to move it, whoever you want it, and... That's what I did. So I, I can't say I was like upset by that because man, I had a hard ass job, man. You know, so. Excuse me. Excuse me. I can't say I was like mad at it. I'm like, shit, how you gonna fire me? You know, I'm, we basically slaves. So, you know, whatever. She, she wasn't trying to hit me. You know, I'm like, hey, Ray. That's her name, Ray Cook. You know, tried to start explaining, you know, why I was on the phone and shit, but she wasn't trying to hear me. Right. So, it was what it was, man. You mind showing me your, your hands? I know you, you do that. Travis is on. <laughs> heavy work, turn them over the other way. How about tattoos? How many tattoos you got? One, two, three. You have any on the chest? I got one right there. So, that's. What's up your shirt for me? Is that the thug? Yeah. Is that from way back when or what? Man, I was like 17 when I got that. See your legs. I don't think I looked at some of my legs. Right. Ash and shit, but I ain't got no tests. Right. Well, how how we gonna prove where you were, man, at home? Was anybody there with you? No. My wife was you at get work. Your kids from school. My wife was at work. My sons, my old, my youngest son was in daycare. My oldest. What time son, did you get him from daycare? Hmm? What time did y'all pick him up from daycare? After I picked my wife up, went over there and got so my youngest before. boy. Yeah, and then we had to do the um, PTA shit after we picked up uh, my youngest boy. But my son had PTA earlier. How about your oldest? How does he get home? My oldest boy? Yeah. Oh, that's that's what we had to do the PTA okay. with. And they both go, you know, you could call it a daycare, but it's a, a woman at my church. You know, she watches people's children for right. X amount of dollars a week, and that's where they go, and that's where we, you know, bring So them. they were both there together after he, he leaves school and goes Yeah, because my, my son gets out of school about 11. So you never and, pick him up? No, and he goes straight over there because the bus, you know, he catches the bus, the okay. yellow bus, and bring him back and forth. Yeah. And they stay over there until shit. And if your homeboys come chill with you and just... I don't have homeboys. I, all my homeboys, you know, are from New Orleans, and I haven't seen them in, since 05. Okay, so you don't have any anybody you hang out with? Not really. I mean, the dudes I'm working with, as far as hanging out, no, I mean, we go do our job, we joke, hee hee ha ha, and after work is, you know, I see you tomorrow. go home and get with your family. Mm hmm. And talk to girls on chat lines, I guess. And fucking cheat on my wife. Is that your first time, or is it a pretty common deal? It's kind of common. You meet a lot of them on the chat line? Over the years, yeah. And it's just you get in there and you, you get what you want and get out. See you later. Now, how do you feel about this? You know, from what I'm talking to you about her health is, issue, what do you think about that? Are you concerned? I think that sucks. But are you concerned? Hell yeah. I think that truly sucks. Have you had an HIV test? Uh, the last time I had one, I was in the military. So it's been a while. And I take it you probably had sex with your wife since since being with the, her. Yes. I, mean, 
it can be pretty devastating to a family, can it? Especially if you have two young kids. Yeah. Being raised by two sick parents, I mean, I thought of that just terrifying. That fucking suck. Now on top of that, then, you know, she ends up dead and you're at her house right after you're having sex with her. I'm telling you, Larry, right now, we're in the very beginning of this investigation. I understand. We took half that apartment to look for evidence, okay? I understand. What's going to happen when all this comes back? Is any of it going to point to you? I don't think it's going to point to me as I fuck it. Uh, if, if that's going to, you know, tie me to this or whatever. It doesn't look good. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I understand, but. But, you know, I mean, you're doing the right thing. You're coming in here and you're trying to get ahead of it. Right now, you don't have any issue of uh, giving us a, a DNA sample? No. I mean, why not? I mean, again, like I said, man, I'm Get your up. fingerprints. Well, I'm not going to take them, but you're willing to do all that. Hey, anything anything to clear you, basically, you're willing to do. Pretty much. Because, okay. man, I didn't kill this girl, man. Do you have any, about, any idea who might have? I don't know who she fuck with like that. I, I, I don't ask questions, man, like that. Well, are, you, are you concerned she's fucking other guys, or do you not even care? I don't even know. I mean, for all you know, she could have just got through having That's true. sex with a guy when you came over. That's fucking true. That's awful, man. And in, in your situation, you're hoping that another guy came over after you. Nah, nah, I'm not hoping nothing. Well, you're hoping you're you don't get tied up in this, right? I'm not hoping anything because I'm you know not tied up in nothing, you know. But again, you know, I Larry, I want I want to believe you, and I just, I just want to be able to talk to you. And if we end the end this in interview, I just want to walk away from it thinking, you know, he's pretty honest with me. I'm being honest as I possibly can, man. But we're going to have to confirm, you know, where you were just to make sure that you're not, you know, I I just want to back up everything you're telling me. That way you don't get hemmed up in this, okay? And I'll do everything I can to rule you out if you have nothing to do with it, all right? So let's go ahead and get the fingerprints, get your DNA sample. And when we start there, one piece at a time. Sound good? Let's do it. All right, just hang tight for a minute. Oh, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Wow. Cool, man. Fucking amazing, man.
some fucking bullshit, man. Fuck. Oh, this is some bullshit. Jesus, help me right now, Lord. Oh, Lord, I need you right now. I need you right now, Lord. Oh, my God. Forgive me for any wrong I've done in my life, Lord. Just help me right now, Father. I plead for your help. In Jesus' name, amen. You okay to talk to me? I know everything's jacked up, and you're not happy with the entire situation going on. But, you know, this is your opportunity to tell me what happened and what went down inside. I know it's hard to talk about. How did she make you feel? You can, this is your chance to tell me all that. Because I don't think you're a bad guy. I really don't. I was enraged, man. But, but before I, we... I was totally fucking blown away and I right. thought about her. And, and you know... What you and I talked about when we first came in here. You remember that? About your rights. You still understand all your rights? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes, I do. Okay. And would you like me to reread them to you or anything? Or you, I know them. You know them? And you're still willing to talk to me about this? It don't matter, man. Okay, so you are willing to talk? Yeah. All right, well, tell me what, tell me what happened. Why were you so enraged? She gave me HIV, man. I understand. She and she knew she had HIV. This wasn't no secret. This was this wasn't like some, you know, oh I didn't I had no fucking idea, you know. Blatantly. And she when did she tell you she had HIV? Friday, Saturday passed. And what happened this morning? Did you were y'all still talking? Were you thinking about looking past the fact that she had HIV? I was. Because I, I really, um, I thought she was bullshitting. I thought it was something to test me to see if I liked her that much. I don't know. Right. You know. Did you really have sex with her this morning? Yes. Knowing that she had HIV? Again, man, we had already had sex like four times. So you didn't think one more was going to matter? Why would it? We fucked four times. I was protected with a chick with HIV. So what happened? What made it different this time? What made it different? After, after y'all had the sex, what happened? I told you, man, I... The past week, I've been a dead man walking, and all I could think about was her. And why and how could she possibly do this to somebody? Right. Like, why? Why me? You know, why me? And it was just, my mind's just blown, and I was fucking hurt. And the goddamn it, my mind was going a million miles a second all day since she told me. Every day since she told me. And I couldn't fucking believe it. And I didn't know what I, what I wanted to do or how I was going to do it or whatever. But I wanted to make her pay. Killing her wasn't on the menu, but that's just how it ended up. So you know, what, ha what happened when you were over there after after y'all had sex? <clears throat> um, she was she started talking about you know HIV and I 
I just lost it, man. And what did you do? I went in the kitchen and I got a steak knife. And I did. Where was she when you went in there with the steak knife? Still on the bed. And I laid down next to her and did her. Did she see the knife in your hand? No, she didn't see it until it was in her throat. How many times did you stab her? Twice. I think twice. And then what happened after that? I fucking freaked out. I got the fuck out of there. Did you do anything before you left the house? What you mean? I mean, after you stabbed her, I mean, did you just leave? I left. I just got the fuck out of there. Did you see anybody in the house when you left? No, she was nowhere else there. What'd you do with the knife? Uh, Fucked it up. It's, um... The Waffle House dumpster. Um, uh, it's a Waffle House on Northgate. Um, a, right there off of 161 in Northgate. It's a Waffle House right there. I threw it in that dumpster. It's a broken half, the handle. What about your clothing? Would you have on short shirt? I had on some shorts on, black shirt. Did you throw those away too, or are they at your house? I burned them. Where'd you burn them? Oh, sh fucking. MacArthur and Oxbow. MacArthur and Oxbow, what's out there? Is it a field or what? Uh, that's a apartment complex I used to live. And how'd you burn them? I mean, people didn't notice a fire? No, it was. Like to the back. You know, nobody talks where I did it at. Nobody, I mean, you look out the window, your view don't include where I did that at. So it's inside of an apartment complex. Is it on the parking lot and pavement, or was it in grass, or what was it? It was in the, on the pavement. And did you, what did you do with the ashes? I mean, did it completely burn the stuff or did you just kind of set them on fire then? No, yeah, I watched it burn. And nobody saw, you know, I parked my car. And um, like I say, this is the apartment. This is my car, I'm on the other side of my car and I burned them. And nobody could really what, see. Wait, shirt and shoes or just your yeah. shirt and shorts or just, what? Just the shorts. What'd you do with your shoes? There in my house still. Some black Adidas shell toes. Black Adidas? Mm hmm The shell toes, Adidas. Okay. So, you, you stabbed her twice. And did you leave her on the bed or what, what happened there? <clears throat> Was she moving? Was she... Screaming for help? What what happened? She couldn't scream. It was a little bit of a struggle. But not much. I mean she's not wasn't very strong. To be my size, pretty much pretty much the same size. Right. She wasn't very strong. You know. Um and she just bled and bled and bled and bled. Did you get any of her blood on you? Yeah. Did you drive that way, or did you try to clean up, or what happened? I cleaned up. Yeah, did I you, your house or her house? Mine. Did you try to clean up at her house at all? No. I didn't care. Did you see anybody when you walked out? Did you go out the front door, or how did you get it? I went out the front door. There was nobody, nobody out? Nobody was outside. What did you do when you walked out? 
Nothing. I just walked out and went to my car and left. I just left. You didn't see anybody else come into her apartment? No. Or you don't remember seeing anybody? As far as my knowledge, as far as my knowledge I don't know. Nobody else went there. Did you try to conceal yourself at all when you walked out? No, I just walked out. Do you have blood on your hands? No. Huh? you have any blood on your hands? No. I not know about. Maybe I did, and I, I don't know. But I know I washed my hands. So when y'all were struggling, what happened? I mean, was she trying to stop you from doing that, or what was she doing? She was trying to stop me, but she couldn't. Was she still living when you left, or was she dead? I don't know. Was she on the bed when you left, or was she somewhere else? She's on the floor. Did you check her to make sure she was dead, or did you just walk out? Just left. Tell me what you were feeling. I mean, all this was rage over her potentially giving you HIV? Yes. Period. And you haven't been tested. You didn't want to just break it off and, and just make, maybe there's a possibility you didn't get HIV? That wasn't a consideration? Come on, man. Did you go over there to kill her? No, not at first. At what point in your mind did you decide you were gonna kill her? When she started talking about, when she started talking to me about HIV. What was she saying about it? That it's okay to have it? I mean... Basic. I mean, that's pretty much what she was trying to sell me, you know. You know, it's not that bad. And, you know, there's ways around, you know, having it. You can still do this and do that. Except, you know, you got your cold or blah, blah, blah. You know, you're going to be tired and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, mother... Oh, you fucking serious. So you and, the, and the more she talked about it, more I was like, okay. She really is acting like this is okay. Like, no regard for, you know, no one's life, especially mine. I'm sitting right there in front of her. You know, I mean, it was like, it was, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing to be HIV positive in her, in, in her mind. And it's okay that, you know, um, she tells no one about it until after the fact. That's okay. That shit is not okay. So do you feel like you're, you've done justice? I mean, do you think you're keeping her from potentially harming her, or was that even a consideration? It was a thought in my mind, but I don't think I've done any justice or nothing like that because, again, only God knows how many other people she didn't, Fuck and then told him. Only God knows. I don't know. I mean, I could be speculating. I probably am, you know. But only God knows who who else she's done this shit to. And I felt like she killed me. Period. I felt like she killed me. Now, are you concerned about your wife? Very. And that was another thing I was thinking about as she was talking, you know. You know, like I, I'm saying, man, she was talking to me like it's just all right. No, it's not all right because this shit is, you know, is gonna impact so many people. Have you talked to this? Talked to anybody about this or tell anybody about it? Nobody. That you knew it was coming. I told you, man, I came to terms with it. You know, I'm, I wasn't trying to run. I could have. I could have ran, got the hell away from you. There's nowhere to go. Exactly. You can't run forever. Exactly. You know, so why run? Exactly. So that's why I didn't. All right. Mm -hmm. Whatever's going to happen really doesn't matter to me, man, because, again, 
in my mind, I'm already dead, bro. And that's the honest to God truth. I'm dead already. That's really how I feel. Is there anything else you think I need to know about why it happened? Or you pretty much told me everything? Ain't nothing else I can add to it. Other than, you know, I felt like she killed me, so I killed her. Basically, that's it. All right. I'll be right back. I'll get you a cup of coffee. Or do you want the water? I still want it, yeah.